complex that has been a blight in a historic neighborhood for decades is about to be transformed. The city of Berlin is cleaning it up and clearing out the crime that came along with it. Kim Bias reports. Among rows and rows of historic homes, some more than a century old, sits this. I believe that our police department used to come down here maybe 10 times, if not more, a day. The La Hacienda apartments have brought crime, drugs, and a bad attitude to what was once the most affluent neighborhood in town. This was a historical district, I believe, from, from here all the way to about 5th Street. Uh, beautiful historical homes are still there. The city hopes to bring back that history. <laughs> one board at a time. The nonprofit organization Yes Housing has teamed up with the city and the Mortgage Finance Authority to buy and renovate the apartments. All the old tenants are out and the new owners will make sure only good families move in. Yeah, no, the criminal background checks, credit references, leasing history, all of those things to make sure that we're leasing to the right people. And they'll be helping those most in need. Trying to help families get in there, build affordable housing, make it affordable to the residents that are going to live there, give them the ability to move up. And with the economy the way it is, the number of families in need these days is only getting bigger. There is a lot of work to be done, but it is happening quickly. The goal is to have the apartments ready in three months. Bringing a long, bad history to an end. Is it kind of a relief that finally someone stepped in? <laughs> yes. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. The Mortgage Finance Authority picked up the entire tab for this project, nearly two and a half million dollars. The money is all federal and comes from the Neighborhood Stabilization Program created in 2008.